thousands packed the Capitol Mall today for celebrating Pride here with mm. Sacramento Pride. Yeah, and you know, ABC 10 is one of the many proud sponsors of the festivities. As you know, some of us were even there this morning. And this year's Pride carries added significance because in recent years, we've seen a rise in anti-LGBTQ attacks and legislation. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is live in downtown Sacramento with more on what today's events mean to so many people. Luke and Alicia, Sacramento truly showed out today and hey, they've kept that energy going since this morning when they had the Pride Parade. Now, if you could take a look behind me, people out here say that it is important for the entire community to support each other right now, especially after some of the hate we've seen happen against the LGBTQ community. In a sea of all the colors you can think of, people from all walks of life came together to celebrate the LGBTQ community in this year's Pride Parade. I'm trans mask, non-binary. Um, Pride for me has been about finding community, finding acceptance, and basically just uh, knowing that you're not alone. But this year things are a little different. Those marching in the parade say now is the time to speak up against anti-trans and anti-drag legislation in the works, which they feel is clearly targeting the trans community. The first Pride was a riot. It was about fighting back against this social uh, norm idea that, you know, we are wrong or we don't belong or that we're sick and that kind of stuff. So this year, this Pride is especially important. We're showing up. We're showing that we're valid. It's just all the hatred that's out there, and it just makes you sad. That, you know, we've come a long ways in our LGBTQ community. We don't need all of that. Families also feel being present is a way of showing their children the true meaning of love. We wanted to bring our family out for this because love makes a family, and we wanted to share that message with them that love is love, and families are beautiful and diverse, and it's important that our boys know that too. Brings out the love that everyone like has. And for everybody, whether you are straight, gay, trans, queer, bi, asexual, I think it just brings out the greatness that this represents. And once the parade is over, attendees say the big takeaway should be for people to understand that human beings are human beings, regardless of ideas, race, or sex. Yeah, I would say to remain open, be open. Um, learn about others that have experiences that are different from yours because it's those relationships and those stories that are really transformative. All right, so out here at Capitol Mall festivities are going to be going on until about six this afternoon. So right now, if you still want to head out here, you can. You have a few more minutes, less than an hour to get out here, enjoy everything with everyone else. Luke, Alicia. Roxanne, I have no doubt there are people watching now that are going to make their way out there to join you, even if it's just for one more hour. Roxanne <laughs> Elias reporting live for us on the Capitol Mall. Thank you. And you know, Pride festivals continue all across the United States. So if you missed this one, San Francisco's festival is at the end of the month.